Yeah, you heard it. You saw it right. Van Halen, the guitar solo for And the Cradle Will Rock. Uh, my student slash friend, Peter, we worked on this for a Skype lesson and um, I know you guys would appreciate this solo. So, standard tuning, um, Eddie Van Halen, the man. The reason I play guitar, that's for sure. Here it is, slow down. Jump into it, okay? Um, let me come in a little closer here so you can see how what I'm doing. You want to tap 13B, pull it off to 5B, and hammer to 8B. It's basically like a triplet. If you want to count it, like one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then repeat it, but move your left hand or your well, I can't say fret hand, but your well, yeah, I can. Tap hand, fret hand. Repeat it, move this a half step up to 6 and 9, and then move it another half step to 7, 10. So you'd have... And the transition you'll find is tricky. It's 10 G. Kind of flick it with your finger um, and bend it a whole step. Use your third finger or second, either one's fine. Tap 13, pull off, and then release the bend and pull off to 9. So it ends up going. Okay, that's the first little part that we have. Looks easy, but that's kind of hard, you'll see. And you're bending against the nut here. Fifth fret G, third finger. Actually, it's a good idea to put three fingers down. Bend it a whole step and then pick a bunch of times. And then on your last pick, you're going to release it. This would be so. And so you'll. Uh, when you release it, you'll pull off to the third fret. Hammer five. Then you do a whole step bend off that. So it's next part goes. Oops. Show you what he does there. Three A hammer to five and seven. Lower your thumb. Same thing on the D. Four, five, seven on the G, and slide to nine. Pull off to five, hammer to seven. So that G string goes. So yeah. And then from there, you'll slide it another whole step up to nine. Then eight B, hammer to ten. Eight E. 11B, pull off to 8. So you have... Them. 11 high E, whole step bend. And then... After the bend, you'll, then you'll stop the bend, don't release it. And then go 11, 10, 9, 8 on the high E. Use those four fingers. And then 11B, whole step bend, vibrato. Turn your volume down just a hair, and then he goes. And this is cool too. Go um, 19 G, whole step bend, and hold that bend as you play 20 B. Oops, I'm out of tune. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. Now it's my floating tremolo that's dropping that B flat because I'm bending. Then 
after you pick that 20B, pick the 19G that's already bent a whole step and then release it. So it has that kind of country sound. <laughs> And then you'll hit the 17G and then the octave which is 21E. So here we go. I know you guys are gonna have fun with that. It's a short but sweet solo. That's what I told Peter. And um, it's, you'll see what I mean. You get a little bit of tapping, some of the bending, some of the pentatonic stuff, the chromatic stuff. Um, it's an awesome solo. The legato, where you have the whole. And you know, I suggest break it into pieces. You know, it's, one piece could just be. And then do that on the bow string. Add the next string. And then add the slide off. Of Subgrouping is what it's about. So I had to bust that out for you. It was fresh in my mind. And um, Eddie Van Halen, you know, no introduction needed. He is who he is. Epic, legendary, iconic, innovative, everything. So uh, if you have questions, let me know. Make sure you subscribe to both my channels, youtube.com slash rockingguitarlessons1 and rockingguitarlessons2. Uh, watch my website any day, rockingguitarlessons.com. $25 a month to join. And some cool little little treats coming your way. A lot of you guys have been been really super patient. Thank you. It's kind of out of my hands. It's in Byron's hands, um, and he's working his tail off, man, to get it right and get it going. So uh, be patient. We do know it's coming soon. Um, my email rockingguitarlessons at hotmail.com. Twitter is twitter.com/rockingguitarless with one s. That's because I couldn't fit the whole name in there. I need to I need to contact Twitter about that. Tell them to change it. But anyways, if you want to take some private lessons, um, all you need is a webcam, and we can do it. My Skype contact is Rockin' Guitar Lessons. Send me a request, a couple sentences as far as, you know, your style of music you're into, the stuff you would like to achieve, how long you've been playing. Um, we can work on whatever you want from beginning to end. I'll help with originals, uh, give you solo concepts, whatever types of things you want to learn, we can work on. Flash, tricks, tapping, it doesn't matter. Um, it's $50 an hour or $25 for a half an hour. Um, the fastest way to get the results, it really is. Um, the Skype teaching has really taken off um, on my end, and it wasn't something that I planned on taking off, but it did. And I'm loving it. We're getting good results. So uh, send me a request only if you're interested in Skype lessons. Um, keep your requests coming. Subscribe to both channels. Keep practicing, guys. Play slow. Get everything clean. Until next time, I'm Mike Gross doing some And the Cradle Will Rock guitar solo.